he's happy, I'm happy, and I am happy. So, hello and welcome to the vlog. This is one of those days, one of those weeks, shall we say, where I thought oh, I should vlog this, I should vlog that, and I haven't. And uh, time is rushing away from us, and so we're just going to vlog something. That right now is me walking home after a morning that I should have vlogged. There'll be no pretty pictures of what I was doing this morning, what Rowan was doing, um, but you'll get this. taking the scenic route home well to fair most of the routes home are scenic except for going through the tunnel which doesn't really count but yeah doing that and just filling in a little bit so despite the fact that this all probably looks pretty grey and overcast in this vlog we started this morning with a team meeting sitting on the balcony out the back of the church in our t-shirts and it was sunny and it was hot actually hot um, which is all a bit odd for the first day of November but you know in one way I'm not going to complain we've only lit two fires um, this winter and that's good because if it does get cold we'll actually have some wood left to burn. <laughs> um, and, it, and it is nice not to be freezing cold it has to be said as ever team meetings are about coordinating our diaries and making sure we all know what we're doing and who's doing what when and all that kind of stuff so after team meeting Tanner um, bass player who we work with turned up and he's helping me probably buy a guitar off the local equivalent of eBay and uh, yeah still weighing up is this really a, a super wise move um, but I've seen a, a second hand guitar that kind of fills a gap in my collection and that seems like a pretentious thing to say um, but it's all to do with like when you're recording there's certain things make certain sounds to super simplify it and this one will make a sound that some other ones don't make um, and a sound that would be kind of useful if I get it um, you'll see in the next couple of vlogs it will probably make an appearance somewhere along the line there is always more equipment to buy um, and part of me struggles with that but part of me is like well if I know that we're using it then it's okay, they are tools more than they're toys. Um, and though I've got nothing against toys, um, you need to have the tools that you need to do what you need to do. We've got to keep moving things forward. I'm gonna go back the way I've just come, just because it's nice to have a little quiet street to vlog on where you don't look stupid. So <laughs> I'm gonna go back up and then down. Um, I hope you enjoy the view. On the subject of moving things forward, um, let's give you a little sneak peek of the track that we were recording so the song that was in the last vlog was called seen and heard and did a whole mix on it this week did a bunch of recording over the weekend to get down some guitars and some bass that i was happy with and a vocal that i'm almost happy with and shove that up online now is not the time to by the time you're watching this it is online so it's always good to try something new out and feel like you're pretty happy with how it went at the end 
And that was our drum experiment in the last vlog. As far as Buddha was concerned, he reckoned it was the best drum recording that we've done, the best sounding outcome. If he's happy, I'm happy. So, if nothing else, I'm going to do thumbs up at the end for a successful experiment. Well, no, this is strange. This doesn't normally look good. that reg plate is one of the other big things in the news for us this week is that we have a date for our end of term concert and which a whole bunch of our music students will be playing at that's going to happen in town in the cultural center there around the beginning of december it's been kind of fun over the last few weeks to have a whole bunch of different young people get sort of excited like can we play this can we play that can we play just two or three of us together or different combinations and different songs so I think as far as concerts go it's probably going to end up being our most ambitious yet I don't know if there'll be more young people playing at this concert than any of the previous ones but there it seems like there'll definitely be more variety in what they're playing and more sort of ambitious choices in who's playing with who and what they're playing I think it's just exciting that people know that they come and ask can we do this can we do that can we try this can we learn that that we're going to try as best we can to make that opportunity available to them it's one thing to have one or two people who are interested or excited in something but when you get a group of people so especially sort of people around the same age um we're all getting into it and all want to do it together then there's a there's a different kind of momentum that comes out of that and we've definitely got that now with some of the students there's a lot of crossover between like, friendship groups of people who are going to violin and then coming to stuff with me coming to stuff with Budo um, and that's really positive and maybe maybe we haven't had that before now in the same way as we have it right now and so that's super exciting um, just to see where that leads so I think the next whatever it is five six weeks leading up to this concert are going to be a really positive time we've just seen some really good progress with people playing music and seeing them excited about it and i think maybe that is it for this vlog hopefully the sort of scenic route through old town is an interesting distraction for me rambling on as i said earlier in the vlog if it's survived the edit um, do give us a big thumbs up for a successful experiment do leave us a comment or a question if you want to know more and do remember that together we do adventure and we'll see you next time